are we rolling? I think we are. Hello my angels, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to what is going to be a very, very special and very exciting vlog. It's also going to be a jam-packed one, so fill that glass of champagne or cup of tea and join me. Please excuse the fighting and biting sausage dogs in the background, it's their, it's their witching hour. But as I said, this vlog is going to be so jam-packed and we are actually now in the week of International Women's Day. And of course, we are celebrating hard. So I'm extremely excited on Friday to be hosting a Luxury by Leonora International Women's Day event in a collaboration with the Ivy down at the Marlow Garden. It is the most beautiful Ivy. I probably shouldn't say this, but it is actually in fact one of my favorite and I'm very, very lucky to be hosting some of my nearest and dearest, my best friends, and just the most incredible collection of inspiring, empowered boss women, and it's going to be incredible. So as you can see from behind me, we are in full prep mode and seems as you guys always enjoy that part sort of the organization the prepping and the lead up to one of these incredible events I thought I would share it with you and you know me I don't do things in halves well I should say we don't do things in halves and one of the things that I wanted to do for this Luxury by Leonora event is just to make it special and to do something that hasn't really been done before so I'm so excited because we have got personalised hampers! Yes, personalised hampers for all of my guests. And basically what I did is I reached out to all of my favourite brands and it kind of happens in a way that you reach out to a brand and they'll either say yes or they'll sort of say it's not the type, right time of year, maybe they don't have budget, maybe they don't have enough of the stock. We have 15 guests on Friday and I'm extremely honoured and rather very lucky that every single one of those brands came back and said yes. Um, I hadn't actually anticipated that, so now trying to fit everything within the hampers is going to be a little bit of a task. But before I do, I actually wanted to share everything that we're going to be popping into these hampers because literally they are the dream. And talking of dreams, I couldn't do any of this without my dream team who are over there <laughs> and we are going to be doing a little bit of what do we call it a um production line. a production line a production line so I think well we've got all of the boxes here and we've got all of the hampers Anna you've been on snipping and unbuckling mm -hmm. um mode we carry on we need to carry on do you want to say hello to everybody do you want to come say hi Hi, hi team! Hi everyone! How's it going? Hi everyone! Remember Anna? And then Ellen is here. Ellen is working her way through, oh my goodness, a whole heap of stuff. I cannot even begin to tell you how busy this week is. Well, I can actually, I can actually tell you, um, because by the time this vlog goes live, everything else would have, would have happened. Yes. So, basically, we are Tuesday. Tomorrow I am up in London, literally back-to-back -back meetings all day. Thursday I've got a photo shoot all day. Thursday night we've got an exceptional gala, and if you haven't watched that already, I feel so bizarre because that hasn't even happened yet, but I'm still talking. If you haven't seen that vlog yet, which I actually at this moment in time haven't even created, then go back and please watch it because um, I have a feeling it's going to be a very, very special one. And then, obviously, Friday we have got the Luxury by Leonora um International Women's Day breakfast and then I am heading straight to Cliveden because as one of Vivian Sheriff's brand ambassadors she is launching her brand new spring summer collection and um, yeah I'm really excited to go and see it. It's an incredible afternoon tea sort of celebrating International Women's Day, celebrating Mother's Day and celebrating the most breathtaking collection but that is in fact actually going to be on the next vlog because there is so much to share with you this vlog would probably end up being about three or four hours long so we are going to be splitting it into two anyway I'm wobbling on and we're probably ten minutes into the vlog and uh, yeah we need we need to get a skedaddle on so I am going to 
First and foremost, I want to actually show you. May I steal a hamper? Oh, could you like an open hamper? Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> why, thank you. So, we went to an incredible hamper brand that specialise in doing personal hampers for um, brands. So, if you have a brand and or a company and you're looking to have personal hampers made, then honestly, I couldn't recommend it enough. So, as you can see, we've done the L logo on the front. And then, what we've had made is, I told you, we don't do things in halves, there's always something very nice about a liner and a personalized liner. So we have had Luxury by Leonora embroidered into these beautiful natural linen liners. And um, I just think it just makes it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna just really soften the inside. So you've got that beautiful natural wicker. We've actually gone with got, um, black buckles which look really chic, I think. And Especially cool. against the black logo. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Um, so, right, we've got, to, we've got to compile all of these in our little production line. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Should we talk I through some of this stuff? I think so, yeah. It's epic. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> no, hang on a minute. That again. Maybe even put this back. So there we go. There we go. A brand that I discovered. Oh, I think, was, I think actually during lockdown, and it absolutely blew me away, first and foremost, just by the results. Now, I think it's fair to say that I have tried my fair share of bath salts before, but these whole whole nother ball game and like I said when it comes to gifting for a luxury by Leonora event I want to be able to share young and upcoming emerging female founded brands and that was another thing that I really wanted to do is actually have all of the brands that we are um, gifting product to my guests all of them to be female founded so I felt that that was that was a really really important element so Dream Distillery set up, it's female founded, and it is absolutely incredible. These have got to be, I'm gonna go as far as to say, my favorite bath salts. And they are infused with CBD. So it's definitely something to have at night if you want to sort of like soak, your muscles relax, just to literally put you into a whole nother world of tranquility. They are absolutely incredible. So they're getting literally a full size Dream Distillery, the Z's. Um, CBD anchoring bath soak. Mmm. Mm. It's like a spa. Yeah. So yeah. Nice. Um, so they are absolutely fab. And then a product that actually I didn't really want to tell you guys about because I don't really want it to be sold out because I swear by it is their bed balm. Now I don't just use this as a bed balm. I literally pop this on just about anything. If I've got achy shoulders or my neck, I actually pop this on my ankle. Now if you guys have subscribed to me for a while, you will know that I have a venous malformation on my right ankle and um, yeah, it doesn't look pretty. It's very, very swollen. Um, the very are sort of black and blue and it is actually going underneath my foot and it's it's very painful and quite difficult to sleep with it and I thought you know what I've got nothing to lose so I'm gonna put a bit of this down there a bit of this up there but this everywhere and no word of a lie the swelling in the morning had literally gone which which just doesn't happen. I even take, you know, I take naproxen, I take very very strong painkillers and even in the morning you know the swelling is still there and this is absolutely remarkable. So they are getting a full um, bed balm. Yeah, hopefully there's no sticker on this so that I can actually show you the branding and the packaging. So I will leave, of course, all of the details in that description box down below. But one of my favorite things about this brand is actually their tagline, which is live the dream. D-R-E-E-M. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so up next we have something that I just actually cannot believe. So when it comes to feeling like a boss woman and celebrating women, feeling powerful, feeling empowered, all of that jazz, one of those things, like if I'm feeling, I don't know, if I've got a little bit of um, imposter syndrome, I can pop one thing on and I will just feel the bomb. And they are 
Holland Cooper sunglasses. And I thought it was a bit of a long shot, but I really, really wanted to include sunglasses and my favorites are the Holland Cooper City sunglasses. And so I reached out to Holland Cooper and when I got the reply email, I was like, what? So they have gifted each and every single one of my guests a pair of their boss woman. Well, they're actually unisex, so ladies and gentlemen, so everybody can wear them. But honestly, wait until you see these. First and foremost, look at the beautiful sunglasses case you get. So it's this like crocodile type leather, got the gorgeous branding here, and then on the inside. You get the little sunglasses sleeve, which I always find really helpful. Now, because I am a woman who has lots of beautiful handbags that don't tend to be that large, and they're rather dainty, it's quite difficult to sometimes pop the whole sunglasses case in, so I always find these really, really handy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So everybody has got a pair of Holland Cooper sunglasses. So we've gone with the tortoise and we've also got the black. So depending upon the guests, and obviously I know everybody extremely well because either they are, well, they're all very, very good friends of mine, best, best friends, my ride or dies are going to be there, and then just the most incredible, inspirational ladies I've ever met, and I couldn't not have them there. So yes, the Holland Cooper City sunglasses will be in the hamper of absolute dreams. Look at that. Hang on, is it straight? Not quite yet, Not but quite it will yet. be. We're getting there. We're getting there. So how divine does that look? Absolutely stunning. Right. Stunning Spagliato. Stunning Spagliato. That's What's a new one. It's only Tuesday, ladies. It's going to be a long week. Okay, so sunglasses back in box. Box back in. Case back in box. Box back in box. On to the next one. Now. This is something I am so excited about and something that's really, really different, which again, always try to be forward, forward thinking. Um, as a lady, well, I think, well, yes, I can say that as a woman, obviously we have menstrual cycles and once a month we have very, very sore tummies. We get cramped, we get period, all of that jazz. And something that I swear by and something I literally could not live without is my UU bottle. And whether I've got an achy neck, shoulders, or if I'm suffering from really, really bad period pains, this is the most incredible hot water bottle. Well, it's both actually, you can have hot and cold but it's long it's like a sausage um definitely not what they were probably hoping for me to say but it's it's a long water bottle that you can wrap around your body I'm actually going to show it to you and it's in the most beautiful Japanese cotton and of course had to be on brand and it had to be pink. So literally, it is absolutely stunning. They have an incredible collaboration with the English rugby team. They have a partnership with Formula One. Honestly, the most incredible sportsmen, athletes, around the world swear by UU and when I thought about the hamper and really what we wanted to include in it I didn't know how I couldn't not have this in there so again I will leave this in the description box down below and they actually come in lots of different um, sleeves so you can have cashmere you can have cotton they've got lots of different options on there so I will again leave the details in that description box down below go and take a look it's also got the tie so I'm just going to do this here so that you can see what I'm talking about it literally goes around my whole body um, and it is I swear by it with period pains if I've got back pain neck pain leg pain I wrap it around my ankle pop it in the freezer for it so it's cold it is just amazing and again what you can do is take the sleeve off and you can wash it, which I always think is so important. Um, so I'm, I'm just over the moon. I hadn't anticipated how big the box was going to be. So you can kind of get the gist in terms of um, sizing. Uh, the box is almost as big as the hamper. So I think what we're going to have to actually do is pop this on the chairs, ladies, don't you think? I agree. Yeah, because I, d I think it's a shame not to actually have them in the box. Okay. We're on to the, on to the third thing in the hamper. <laughs> Only third? <laughs> Only third, Leonora, come on. Chop, chop. Do, do, do. Oh, 
A brand that I work very closely with um, look after lots of different brands and something that I really, really wanted to have in the hampers and something that I've spoken to you guys a hundred times about is the Bum Bum Cream. I didn't know whether I was getting the pronunciation <laughs> right. Um, so um, uh, what does this do for you? It gives you and it helps you maintain a youthful Brazilian bounce and deeply moisturises your skin. Wonderful, wonderful. Beige so Flour. Beige Flour Elasti Cream. So basically it's very, very similar to their Bum Bum Cream. So Sol de Janeiro. And I made a lot of you guys giggle about asking Mark to massage this into my bottom um, and not in any type of way that you're thinking. Um, but it's just absolute gorgeous and it's also pink. And then they've been very, very kind and also sent a beautiful nourishing micronutrient wash. And this is from Hello Clean. So they get a full size nourishing micronutrient wash. I have a lot to say about this. Oh yes, do tell. I, I absolutely love this stuff. I have very hard water where I live and this really helps to, you know, not undo, but combat. That's the word combat, that we like. Break down. Break down all of the horrible kind of like, I guess, toxins in the water. Impurities. Impurities. Yeah. Um, and it really leaves your skin feeling soft. I don't have as many kind of like rashes from the water anymore. So I, hi I highly, highly rate I'll tell you what we Hello actually Clean. need to do is if that's the case, you actually need the Hello Clean shower. There's an amazing head. thing that Hello Clean do, yeah. which is a filter that you pop it through between your the where your shower head comes out, where the water comes out, and then before it goes into the shower head, and it purifies the water. Mm. So if you had that and, and this, <gasps> I'd be glowing, glowing. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna have to that. sort that out. Okay. Um, so those two, and then we have well. It wouldn't be a luxury by Lena or event if there wasn't rosé. So, Mason Mirabeau, the team there are just incredible. And they have sent their iconic, famous, world-renowned rosé, which is their pure Mirabeau en Provence and their gorgeous little pink dry gin. So they do these little mini bottles, which I thought was so perfect for the hamper. And they were so generous by sending a full bottle of the beautiful pure rosé. So um, yes, hopefully my guests will not be drinking this at breakfast. However, they can take it home and enjoy it and get to get to really taste and enjoy the rosé and hopefully, hopefully fall in love with it as much as as we have girls what do we what do we always choose for our friday cocktails oh it's always a gin tonic always a gin tonic and it's always mix and marry yes it is yes it is <laughs> so they very kindly sent this and then they also sent where are the fans you've got some jazzy fans how gorgeous is this mason and Mirabeau have these little fans Ah, oh, divine. So we're gonna feel as though we are in the south of France drinking rosé um, <laughs> with one of their beautiful pink fans. So how jazzy is that? You can pop it in your handbag. I'm not sure whether these are for sale, but if they are, of course, I will leave all of the details down below. Then we have, oh my goodness me, just the most stunning, stunning thing. So in here, are all of the beautiful, beautiful boxes from Nice Cream London. Now you guys have heard me talk about Nice Cream London a thousand times. They're one of my favorite, favorite brands. I've worked with them so closely for many, many years now and I wear their products literally on a daily basis. Their slippers are literally everything. So for my summer luncheon, I was so, so, lucky to be able to gift my guests the stunning hydrangea pendant necklace and what they've done is they've sent i mean look at this packaging i mean i don't even want to open it but i suppose i'm gonna have to so in here oh gosh look at how beautifully packaged this is and wait until you see how stunning these are so this is the branding and you always see me wearing their pearl drops whether they are the hydrangea with the pearl or the almost like a snowflake with the pearl they are nice cream london and then these are their beautiful do you 
Just look at the stunning pouch that you get. And these are the beautiful earrings that will come in my hamper for the guests. So I think those are one of the most exciting things and they're just so, so beautiful. And there's one thing that I, I just don't understand about Nice Cream London is the price point. You get such a beautiful, luxurious, high quality product for the most exceptional price. So those are all going in the hampers. I'm so sorry, Angel. I feel as though I'm like warbling on and you're oh stuck goodness. there with the hamper liners. I know. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then what else do we have? Oh, we've got the we've got the journals. So then we have something that I absolutely adore and swear by. Look at these gorgeous ladies, I can't. Look, we've got Ellen and we've got Anna, literally the dream team here at Luxury by Leonora headquarters. LBL HQ. A HQ, aka home in my kitchen. Um, we do have dreams of a mega office one day, but um, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, we're manifesting. And okay. talking of manifesting and being grateful for where we are, I wouldn't be able to do that without the head plan. And this is their gratitude. Oh, be good news, be good news. Is my the head plan gratitude journal. And I'm just so excited that they were just honestly so generous by sending every single one of my guests the most stunning gratitude journal. So this is the branding. You might actually recognize it because they recently went on Dragon's Den. It is family founded, female backed. It is just the most incredible concept. They've always been so so supportive of me and I will no matter where we go in life I will always support those people who supported me and look at how stunning this is so it's almost like an oatmeal linen and it's got gratitude on the front there I just think it's absolutely beautiful and really the luxury as luxury as it gets when it comes to a beautiful journal and then on the inside I just love the layout so in here we have you know, we can just skip to one of the pages. So for example, they've always got a quote at the top. They've got an affirmation of the day. I'm grateful for one, two, and three. What I'm looking forward to today, my highest point today, and a positive thought to end today on. Now, I just love it. I love it so much. And um, I just think if you celebrate the small wins and always look at the positives, then you will definitely turn into a glass half full instead of a glass half empty. And do that with the head plan because they are, they are the very best. So everybody will get one of these. And then ladies, what else? We have a couple of things that haven't arrived as of yet. Some fresher things. Some fresher things. So, I'm so beyond ecstatic that Joe Loves is a huge part of my Luxury by Leonora hampers. So they are sending a beautiful candle and actually a product that is relatively new. So I'm really, really looking forward to sharing that with you. And I gave you guys a sneak peek of it when we went to the bow tree for the most incredible incredible PR stay with Joe Loves and then oh, it wouldn't be a luxury by Lena or a hamper if there wasn't something scrumptious to eat and Ladrack are sending the most insane chocolate oh one thing we have to do mm -hmm. is just triple check that one of from Sophie one of the chocolate things is vegan that was in my mind last night. I know I know that the free shoggy, the dark chocolate one, is vegan. I just need to triple check that she is sending that for Chloe. Cool. Oh, all of these little things. Anyway, as you can see, with my exceptional team, they are literally popping on the, uh, the liners. So then I think what we're going to do, because we don't have a couple of the items and there are so much to go in there, there's absolutely no way that we can stack them and close them and it's going to look pretty. Yeah. And I also think they're going to be too big to actually place on the tables. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what we want it to look like. And then we're going to just put all of the items in, shut the lid, and then transport them down to the ivy like this. Do the full tablescape and the setup, place the hampers, make it look absolutely beautiful. Of course, we will be taking you with us for the entire day from start to finish. Well, for a few days before, full prepping, full organization, 
the entire day, all of my guests. We're also going to do a little bit of a, I don't know, I want to introduce you to my guests because I feel that I share all of these incredible people and sometimes you guys don't actually get to speak to them yourself. So we are going to be talking to them about, you know, their life and how they built their business and what makes them feel like an empowered woman. And uh, just to kind of give you guys their top tips um, and secret tricks. So this vlog is just gonna be jam filled. I feel so lucky and so honored to be hosting the most exceptional breakfast um, with the most amazing people around me. Honestly, amazing. I wish the boys could come. Could the boys come to an International Women's Day celebration? I mean, they're great mascots. Great mascots. They're great supporter of women. Look, they're all here. Yeah, we could put Pink Bow on and pretend yes. he was a girl. Pretend. Just hide your willy. And he's, no, he's Lancelotta. <laughs> Lance the Schlotter. Oh my goodness. Anyway, right, I've got to help and let's start compiling these hampers. I also think that this is going to be a zillion hours long, so I'm going to pop you guys on a time lapse. So enjoy the music, enjoy our son um, running around like headless chickens, and ladies, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> you literally read my mind. <laughs> To get that done. I, I sent it, all the stuff. You, there's a load of okay. forms to fill out. Oh, I haven't uh, seen that. We've just I will do it with you. Okay. Um, what do you think? Oh. What? Oh, holy. Yeah, I know. Oh, holy, holy. I need, oh, I need to get holy. some patches. Okay, what do you sound like, my dad? Is that we? Royal we? Well, I thought you might do it for me. <laughs> just to add to the list. Can I say hi to everybody on YouTube? Just wave at everybody. Hi, everybody. Literally dream team. Oh my goodness. Oh, big CEO. Oh, huge. He's the big boss. Odie, oh are we doing this correctly? Do you, can you make the approval, please? Um, so basically, well, basically this is the, this is the setup over here. Obviously, please excuse the behind the scenes of literally like the bomb that has gone off over uh, here. Hydration stations. Hydration <laughs> stations. So basically this is, oh my goodness, Lance, look, you just want loving. Excuse me, hang on a minute. We just have to do love, loving moments for a minute. Um, but this is the hamper that we are, we've kind of like designed it the way that we want it to look. Obviously, we've still got quite a lot to come with the... <laughs> this is the current situation down here. Boys, I'm trying to talk to everybody, and you're being very naughty. Very naughty. Um, but we've still got the candle, the perfume, and the chocolate to arrive. So I'm kind of hoping that we can sort of slot it in there, and it's still going to look good. We could slot something back here. We could even pop this there. You know, we've got some options, but for now, this is the vibe of what it's going to look like set up. They're going to be sat on the chairs with the back up like that, so that you can see the luxury by Leonora here. And then you've got all of these incredible gifts on the inside. And then we're going to have the UUs just sat on the side. I think I'm most excited to see everybody's reaction ladies I, know. I hope they love it i hope I'm they love so it i think they will i hope they will because the amount of time that's taken to sort of pop this all together um and also it's incredible how things you know happen or are meant to be if we did have the candles and the perfume and the chocolate right now we wouldn't have Sorry, been able to get it all in no, and look at how true. incredibly flat packed we've managed to <gasps> get this stunning very, very stunning exciting. Um, so, we are going to be little busy bees, just popping all of the items into the hampers. Ellen has been absolutely incredible and taken all of the little stickers and the labels off of the sunglasses. We've got all of the liners in, got all the products out. <gasps> Ladies, this is epic! <laughs>
just to make sure it's that one not going to go in is it either i mean they might have put leonora has her so the hampers are finally compiled and they look incredible. I cannot wait for you guys to see what they look like when they are sat in position and looking beautiful with all of the gifts in them. But so far, I think it's safe to say that they look mega and the contents are literally the dream. Just look at all of the incredible brands just placed together in the most beautiful hampers. They're all personalized with literally my favorite favorite brands i'm so excited to see my guest's reaction and i'm just so looking forward to it now we've still got quite a lot of prep we're going to have a little bit of a team meeting just to go through absolutely everything cross every t dot every single i and make sure that if anything does go wrong we have contingency plans we've got so many content briefs in place we've got documents for everybody should they need one so it's going to be absolutely mega Okay, so we need to just have a really, really quick run through of the um, International Women's Day document. Um, event timings, exactly what time we're getting there, Floris is getting there, what time Roxanne is getting there. Um, obviously when guests arrival is, we have then got obviously all key contacts. 8 a.m. They're going to get there for 7.30. Guest arrival is 8.30. So we've got an hour and a half. We're probably going to take us half an hour. It's going to take Flora's team half an hour to set up. We are then probably going to take half an hour to place the hampers and to just mm -hmm. get everything perfect. And then we've got exactly an hour to shoot everything we need. Mm -hmm. So Claudia will need Claudia arrival. Mm -hmm. 8 a.m. Cool. Um, because then that's... Also, slight contingency because she's always late, <laughs> just in cases. Um, yeah, and then we've got all of the content deliverables that we have agreed with all of the brands down here. So everything we have to shoot ourselves, everything we have to shoot for you guys, everything we need to shoot TikTok, Instagram, um, and so on and so forth. Um, we've also got all of the Instagram handles for all of the brands. Now that has already gone to Roxanne. That's going to be printed on the menus. Mm -hmm. um, if any guests ask, just yeah. say to them, direct them that um, maybe if they didn't know a <coughs> handle for something, then it's all printed on the back of the menu. Okay. So that is that. Um, so at the minute we've just got... Do you mind if I could talk through the details? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've just got one hamper reel one luxury campaign reel and your outfit reel <coughs> i don't i need to we need to go through and check which brands ones are dedicated so i can tell you the dedicated cool. ones um so those are the two dedicated ones whether we choose to do that there or whether we choose to do that i do think the holland cooper one could be there because it could be a fun one with all of the girls yeah, with sunglasses whether we film that on a phone or whether claudia films that on the camera we can have a think about that in terms of how much time she has and what we've got through um and obviously don't be afraid to ask Claudia, like has okay. she 1000% got yes. this way? Uh, we are on it. So uh, the luxury campaign reel, so actually it's a really nice thing to talk through because we can actually like brainstorm and have ideas about it. But obviously it's, we're telling a story and there's the motion of the day and that's something that we want our viewer and our followers, subscribers to be able to see. So it's like showing the Ivy branding from the front, yeah. maybe following me walking in, then we'll showcase the table, maybe like a champagne pour with Perrier Jouet. That's the opportunity to get all of those moments in. But if you have any ideas, put it on the documents okay. and then we can, yeah, it can be like a clink, the champagne cheers, yeah. a moment of me making the speech. Drinks being poured, you know, the breakfast, obviously then we kind of put the camera down when people are eating because I've been there, done that, tried to get a cute video of me eating and it just did not work. Um, so, uh, and then hampers. I think definitely we want a moment of the hampers in place within the event reel and then obviously there's a hamper reel dedicated and whether we do that there with Claudia before everybody arrives on the table with all the florals. Yeah, currently we'll have a hamper reel, luxury event reel, a Holland Cooper reel, a UU reel, a flowered reel, an outfit reel. So that's quite, it's quite a lot. Quite a lot to achieve. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, guests having conversations, guests greeting guests, Leonora greeting guests. Okay, this is... It's all... We've, all, we've got this under control. Yeah. Okay, fine. Outfit reel, 
Love that, boss woman vibes. <laughs> yeah. Is that you? Yeah. I love that. Okay, fine. Um, a professional imagery of the event, and I'll okay. introduce you to everybody so that you feel comfortable. And honestly, the people that are coming are the nicest. You've, you've, met, you've met Alex. You've kind of met a lot of people, mm. actually. So the guest list is so epic. I'm so excited. We're just going to actually have the best day. I'm really excited. How I'm not going to drink champagne? I don't know because we're going we've on. Got to keep it under control for this one. <laughs> yeah, I think that's actually why they wouldn't let me do a dinner. I think they just mm. thought the um, cocktail consumption might be just a little bit too high. I think the guest list is so lovely that everyone is so close. That we're just going to have the best. We'll just time. have the best time. It would yeah. So a couple of TBCs, one dropout so far. Dietaries are all under control. Um, that's all. That's all good. And then um, YouTube, we've got everything under control. <laughs> hopefully, uh, for stories, yeah, that's always the thing. It can get a little bit overwhelming with like thinking we have to film for this, we have to film for Claudia, we yeah. have to film for stories. So just we can always repurpose content. So just film. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that sounds scary. And it's just making sure that we've got. Obviously, we've got the camera and we've got iPhone. And we've got some really, really fun ideas because Ellen is an absolute superstar Thank you. <laughs> from TikTok. I think you guys are going to absolutely love this. So if you do have TikTok, please go down into that description box down below and follow us on TikTok because there's going to be some really, really fun. <gasps> guys, I actually hadn't thought about this. It's going to be a Friday. It is. So it's going to be officially... Shimmy, yeah. shimmy, 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 shimmy. Well, we've got a kind of a couple of like private things that we need to talk about in terms of um, people. So mm -hmm. we will, uh, well, at, by this point, actually, we'll see you guys on Friday morning. Friday, yeah. Friday morning. We Next will time be, you see us. Yeah. We'll, we'll be, be bright eyed, bushy tailed. The hair will definitely be. Actually, you've got the hair being rollers? No, the hair will not be in rollers. The hair will actually be up from the night yeah. before, which you guys will have already seen. Gosh, this is so crazy. There's so much Time happening. Time travel over on YouTube. <laughs> oh God, I'm like, I get so overwhelmed and then I just look at our schedule and I'm like, if I stick to this, we're gonna be okay. Got it on the page. We're okay. As a plan. We're okay. Well, I hope you guys have a lovely evening. It's gonna be literally seconds by the time you see us again. <laughs> so, but a few days for us. So um, yeah, we will see you on Friday morning for the most incredible day. I cannot wait, guys. I'm very excited. Yay! Very exciting. <laughs>guys will know from the eye masks or the slugs on my face that this means one thing it is officially event day i have had four hours sleep if you guys have been watching my youtube channel honestly this week i feel like i've just been constantly constantly filming i think we have like four vlogs simultaneously filming for different vlogs oh my goodness if i keep to the schedule it's all gonna be okay. But if you are a frequent viewer of my YouTube channel, you'll know that, oh, by the hair, you'll recognize this. Last night, I was at the Like To Know Gala at the Natural History Museum, and I've had four hours sleep, yeah? By the time I got home, tried to get as much content up as I possibly could. I mean, there's so much more to go up. Um, to do and then just to prep everything last night make sure that all the batteries were on charge laptops were on charge hard drives were clean sd cards were clean stories were up everything was ready bag wise to go today because it's going to be a long one but it's going to be an amazing one i literally feel like i need coffee put into my veins at this point you do not even want to see the monstrosity that are my eye bags underneath these eye masks. So I'm praying that One With One Skin um, pulls off a miracle with the zero depuffing eye masks. These are, these are cult. These are everything. Um, I swear by any of their masks, but if anything's gonna do it, 
these are gonna do it. So the girls are arriving in about half an hour. It is half past six. Um, and yeah, we are off to the Ivy. Today is my International Women's Day breakfast at the Ivy. I'm having my nearest and dearest, my best friends, the women that I think are just powerhouses, true inspirations. It's so lovely because also quite a few of them are local, local business owners, best friends of mine. And then there are a few, um, <laughs> a few strays that are from absolutely miles away, but I could not have an International Women's Day breakfast without them. Um, that's two pronged, me not having them there and them not being there. <laughs> I think Monica would have literally hunted me down and killed me, but Mon is still sleeping. I can see her bedroom window. She's actually not got her curtains drawn. However, she's still sleeping, so I'm going to get Marcus or John to drive her down to the Ivy at 9.30, just so that she doesn't have to be up at crazy time. Florists are arriving at 8. Claudia's arriving at 8. We're going to do the full table setup. The hampers will be going down. Everything has now arrived for the hampers. And they are epic. They're better than I could have ever imagined. And honestly, I just cannot thank the brands enough. I feel just so beyond blessed to oh, just to be in this position, to even be stood here today talking to you guys. And I'm just, I really, at the moment, feel that somebody needs to wake me up from the dream that I'm in. And this is just all a bit of a whirlwind, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I just feel so lucky. Anyway, um, gosh, I need to get, and not, uh, as much coffee in me as humanly possible. I need to make sure that I grab everything that I need and try not to wake up Mark. Um, get everything by the back door. I think I'm actually gonna reverse the Range Rover up, get all the heating onto this nice hot buns for the girls, and then get all of these hampers in. Oh, and then we're gonna get down to the Ivy, set everything up. This is not the vibe for today, um, only the jewelry will be staying on. Um, absolutely stunning, stunning Boodle's jewelry, but I will give you guys a close up later when I've got the full fit on. Then at 12.30, we're heading straight over to Cliveden because we are spending the afternoon with Vivian Sheriff. I'm so honored to be one of their brand ambassadors and today they are launching their spring summer collection. It's a celebration of Mother's Day. It's a celebration, of course, of International Women's Day. And um, I will be able to actually introduce you to Vivian Sheriff herself. How cool is that? We'll go through the collection with her. You can see the hats. I will be modeling the hats. Um, not that I look much of a model right now, more of a naked mole rat. Um, so we've got work to do. We have got serious work to do on the face as well as just host the very, very best day. I feel like all the work is pretty much done by now. All we need to do is get there, get it set up, make it look absolutely magnificent. You know me, I go the extra mile, so it is going to be rather OTT, but I love it. And then we've got to shoot it all. And then I get to just host my besties on a Friday morning. <gasps> Are you ready? It's a Friday. Team, shake it, it's this Friday. And it's International Women's Day. So for all of my galleys out there, ladies, oh, happy International Women's Day. Let's celebrate from the rooftops. And I just feel that we have the most insane, powerful female community on here. There are a few males on here too, so thank you to you too. But today is about the ladies. We're gonna shake them loud and clear. And uh, I just can't thank you enough. Anyway, I'm wobbling on and I've got a whole heap to get through before the girls arrive. So, are you ready? Let's do this. minutes before we're going to leave and I feel like today feels for a very big day. I feel like we need to take our beautiful new baby for a spin. 
also, this is not what I was thinking in terms of an unboxing <laughs> at like seven o'clock in the morning. But, oh my goodness, she's gonna look absolutely beautiful with the outfit. Let me look at the packaging. Oh, she's absolutely beautiful. For the, so for those of you who don't know, I bought a beautiful bag, literally my dream bag, when I was in Mallorca. And basically they are opening their brand new store and they're opening actually on the 27th of March. They've received all of their new stock and they had the limited edition collection, classic capucines. This is literally the bag that I've been dreaming about. It has not existed until now. just the most breathtaking thing. So this is a buttermilk vanilla capucines mini with a limited edition motif on the side. And she's perfect, she's absolutely beautiful. Not going with the vibe this morning, but I'm gonna be taking her with me and I feel like she's just going to make, not this outfit, <laughs> but the outfit that I will be wearing later. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Let's take her down. I feel like we need like a christening ceremony. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna pop her back in her little dust bag and let's head down to Marlow. So the team are here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good. How are you feeling? Good, I'm feeling fresh. Feeling fresh. There is Ellen, look at this beauty. Piled up with the hampers. John, my knight in shining armor, is here yet again. And everything is in that we could possibly need. I'm feeling very jammy. First and foremost, can we just take a moment to talk about the parking? outside the ivy and Claudia has literally just arrived looking like a supermodel she looks amazing right let's go in ah. hello <laughs>
ready. And I think it's safe to say it is looking unbelievable. So to give you guys a very, very quick sneak peek of the table, well, to fully introduce it before my guests arrive, I just thought I'd quickly take you through the table, the hampers, and just the full setup. Honestly, I have the dream team, and I'm looking at this, and I'm actually just shook, speechless to be honest. Well, first and foremost, the florals are just the most beautiful, dainty, seasonal flowers. We've got ranunculus, we've got daisies, got lily of the valley that has actually been planted up for today. It is absolutely stunning. We've got peonies, we've got literally the printed menus of dreams that have been designed to match in with the floral display. The name places, just absolutely everything is just the dream. I can hear Mon in the background, but we'll keep going. We've got gorgeous Miva Nor sarongs, and quite honestly, the hampers are everything. But I'll take you through the hamper in just a second. So let's take a little look at the rest of the table. So everybody has got their hamper set up on their chair. I'm just actually blown away to see it all come together. We had the idea of creating something that nobody else had really done before and it to be fully bespoke. And for people just to go away thinking, oh my goodness me, and I think it's safe to say we pulled it off. Flowered and Nem just blow my mind. I mean, look at the hyacinths. The scent in here from the tulips and the hyacinths. We are in a whole nother world of floral heaven. And just to finish it off, which is the piece de la resistance, is to ensure that it smells sensational when you walk in. And we have got the most beautiful white rose and lemon leaf candles from, of course, Joe Loves. Now, let's have a little look at the hamper because I can hear a few guests arriving. This is the full setup. So, we've got the amazing UU hot water bottles. I showed them to you yesterday and they are absolutely epic. I mean, amazing. Beautiful pale pink and blue sarongs from Neva Noor. We've got the personalized hamper, Luxury by Leonora, the white rose and lemon leaves, scented candles. We've got the Sol de Janeiro, Beige Floor Elastic Cream, the Hello Clean, the Ladderack Boat of Absolute Dreams, along with the beautiful truffles. I'm not gonna pull it out because I don't want to destroy the display. We've got the Head Plan Journal, got Mirabeau Gin and Rosé, along with the beautiful fan. Nice cream London earrings, which I cannot wait to give my guests and then to ensure a great night's sleep to be on top form as a woman, a powerful woman, we need Dream Distillery Bed Balm, the beautiful bath salts, we've got Joe Love scent to ensure we smell the part, and of course, last but not least, the thing I'm most excited about is the Holland Cooper sunglasses to ensure you are your boss woman empowered self so again i'm like feel like i'm blabbermouth i'm talking at a million miles an hour but this is the vibe for today we are rocking last night's hair i've had four hours sleep makeup was done in five minutes but as we always say girls let's do this <laughs> And the incredible team have been so, so generous. And they are serving beautiful pink champagne this morning. So, ready, ladies? Ready? Woo! There it goes! There it goes! There it goes! <laughs>
first and foremost, I want to introduce you to Roxanne because today would not be happening unless it was oh, for you. Oh. So Roxanne is literally the queen and the woman from the Ivy, literally the queen from the Ivy collection. And when I saw your email come in, I literally, I gasped, didn't I, Anna? You did. I was like, oh, I could not reveal. Just making people's days every day, that's what we do. Literally. But we actually first bonded over sausage dogs, didn't we? So a fellow sausage dog mommy, his Royal Highness Wellington, sadly, couldn't could make it today, he's busy today. He's sadly got other invitations. Yeah. I know, I know. Oh, it's not their day. It's not their, no, it's their day. It's International Women's Day. We can have International Sausage Day. My mum thinks that they should be day. Laying in bed with your sausage dogs and drinking margaritas day. Are you available? Yeah, 100%. Well, let's with that, do it. Mid with August, that. we'll do it. Perfect. I'm so biased that I know I probably shouldn't be this way. I do think the IED in Marlowe is the best. <laughs> the team are amazing. The place is incredible, and it's just such a positive vibe here. And as you can see, like, look at this, look at this table, the setup. The women, so exactly, exactly. Well, cheers to you guys, and cheers to you. Thank you so much. Well, cheers. Aww. Divine, close besties from being super local, or if there are girlfriends who are absolutely miles away who would probably kill me if they weren't here, I cannot thank you enough for making the effort to be here. Celebrating obviously International Women's Day, and I'm literally surrounded by my nearest and dearest. And whether you are part of my team and my wing women who wing woman who I couldn't literally do what we do without you both. Thank you so much. And actually everybody, cheers to them for helping to vote today. And everybody else, whether it's social media besties who have become literally closest friends and I can't imagine my life without you, to all my local girlies and my bestie from from literally four years old, three years old. Um, yeah, here's to you. Happy International oh, Women's Day. And yeah, let's celebrate the right way here at the Ivy of Marlow Garden. So cheers. Breakfast has just been served, and this is the scrumptious dairy free yogurt. And it's a coconut yogurt with berries. So, we've got crushed pistachios, strawberries, the most delicious little herbs, edible flowers, crushed coconuts. Absolutely scrumptious. And I've got my gorgeous girlies here. Honestly, so what do we think, ladies? Delicious, amazing, smells incredible. Everyone looks fire. Oh, fire. I love it. What more could it go on? Look at all of these beauties, honestly. Absolutely incredible. Claudia doing her thing. Claudia is Claudiaing. I love it. Look at these gorgeous girlies. Honestly, the dream morning. Oh, hi. 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 I'm so tanned. You're so tanned. I know, no, it's, don't worry. I'm just extremely pale. You look unbelievable. So I'm extremely, extremely lucky. I'm stealing a few ladies here because so many of you ask me about my inspirational friends. And today, I can't even begin to tell you, the ladies that we have around this table are the most inspiring boss women that have built the most successful businesses. I'm just laughing at how tanned I am. <laughs> 
And so many people say, how did you build your business? What were the hard parts? What are the top tips? And what is the story behind it? And your story is unbelievable. And I actually first met Sean because first and foremost, I, stole, I saw her store on the high street. Which was the worst pop-up shop ever, by the way. It was it so was thrown together in like 48 Amazing. Hours. And then I met Sean in the shop and I was like, this girl is going to be my best friend. She doesn't know it yet, but she's going to be my best friend. So could you first and foremost tell me who you are about the business? What was your like pre-business? What was the idea? And then obviously you have built it into what is the most exceptional female fashion brand today on the high street, literally in Marlow. I can do it without all the women around me, so I am very blessed. Um, so I'm Sean Haley. I am the co-founder of My Best Friend's Wardrobe, which I run alongside my beautiful bestie Chesky, who is here today. Um, but we essentially started the brand because we were so bored with what was on the high street and what was available. Um, and we basically saw a gap on the market and thought, you know what, we are going to start a fashion brand with no fashion background, only an interiors and a commercial. But hang on a minute, you had a seriously successful career before that in events, didn't you? I did, yes. I was very fortunate to have built an amazing career um, in luxury events previously. And that's how I actually met Chesky. Um, and she came from a mega interiors background and we both kind of gelled and uh, combined, combined both their forces, talents together. Talents. And we built my best friend's wardrobe literally from her mother's stable. I love to that. Now we're four, uh, four stores and hopefully a fifth this year. So, so you've got um, Marlow, you've got Farm Cobham, you've Cranley. got Cranley. And then we have one in Suffolk. Suffolk. Yeah. And Suffolk is headquarters. Suffolk is HQ. Um, Chesky lives by close by. I live two and a half hours away from HQ, so I do a massive. And she's also a mummy. So a seriously inspirational, international woman herself <laughs> I really with a baby cry. and a business. Now, you know what? I always think that it's really important to, to sort of share with people that it's not an overnight success. No. Like the you grind. have grinded. We have driven vans, we have built show stands, we have done shop bits together. <laughs> I've stood out on Marlow High Street till 4am doing the shop fits. Yeah. I'm stressing stressing that you've spent so much money on a collection and not knowing whether anybody's going to buy it or not. I've literally spent all the money. We've spent all the money on the stock and literally had to be like, well, we can't pay someone to do this. So we're going to have to do it ourselves. I love that. I love that. So what would be your top tips to somebody who maybe is in a really incredible career themselves but actually wants to be their own boss? What would you say? What would be your top tips for making that leap of faith? You just have to trust like yourself because I said in my last role, right, I'm going to give myself two years and then I'm going to go for it. And I didn't know what I was going to go for but I knew I had to go for something. And then if you have the vision and the direction in your head, you'll always find and the way you need to be in the drive. The drive is very important because okay. the days when you really can't be bothered, you still have to grind. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us. And guys, I will leave all of the details to my best friend's wardrobe in that description box down below. I'm going to be really cheeky. I'm actually going to put her on the spot. Is there any way that they can have a discount code? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So what would it be, Leo? We can do Leo 15. Um, oh my god, I'm so if, naughty. She's gonna kill me. Look at my vein popping out from the stress of being like, I'm so naughty. Our new collection is actually launching on Tuesday oh. next week. So, oh my goodness, so it will be live by the time you see this. It will be in that description box down below with the link and the discount code. I love it. Thank you so much, Angel. So now I have another extremely inspirational story that actually, when you told me this story, I was so emotional and was like, this woman is unbelievable. So everybody, this is Fam, Hi. my absolute bestie, and she is the most insane boss woman. So she owns the most incredible nail salon, and I always say I get thousands of comments about my nails, and the only reason why they look like this is because of this young lady here, and your insane team. Your team is amazing. So Tria Nail Spa in Marla, you guys know about it by now if you are frequent followers. But could you tell us the story of how you built Tree Nail Spa? And now, not only just Tree Nail Spa, they also own Sum Kitchen, best Vietnamese restaurant in Malay, well actually around literally the local area. It is insane. So tell us a little bit about you, what you do, and the business. Hi, my name is Pam, and I'm an overseas yes. student from Vietnam since 2007. 2007. And um, being beautician, always like being my part-time job. Yeah. Uh, uh, ever since I was a 
home when I first come here. But when I got married to my husband now, which is my business partner, we were they like, are the most amazing <laughs> duo. <laughs> I was like, let's do something together. So 2011, we started here in Marlow, thinking, oh, let's just open a small business, let's do something together, see how it goes. But then, when we first opened it, <laughs> the budget was all gone, and the first month we had to sleep on the floor in a sleeping bag for one month. They invested all of their money into their store thinking, oh my goodness, what have we done? Is this going to pay off that they didn't have enough money to rent a house? So they slept on the floor of the nail salon. That is dedication for you. You are unbelievable. And now, honestly, the business, I struggle myself to get in. Bless her, I have to text her being like, your team say you're fully booked, please. Always make time for you. Oh, she's Always amazing. And now the business is just thriving. I don't know why I'm telling people about it because you're, you're probably going to be fully booked for, to try and get them in. But then, so the business, the nail salon, and obviously you do so many other things there from lashes, waxing, nails, toes. What was then the decision to then open the second business in Marlow? I'm a foodie. I'm obsessed. Through with and through. Food, apart from nails and other stuff of beauty, but I'm obsessed with food. And the passion is I want to bring the culture, I want to introduce the Vietnamese culture and the food cuisine, which is so flavorful, so colorful to the local people, Marlow, as well as surrounding area. And I haven't felt a thing around the area. That's why I told my husband, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this together. And so, your husband yeah. is the most talented chef. Honestly, he is the most incredible, actually the most incredible chef I've ever met. The passion, the talent, and the knowledge of Vietnamese flavors. Just, I, I mean, I can obviously try to explain the best I can, but actually the best thing you can do is actually go there. So if you are local to, to us here in Marlow, yeah. Henley, surrounding areas, go to some kitchen because you will not regret it. The food is sensational. And also go to Tree Nail Spa because you also look fabulous whilst going there. So I cannot thank you enough for, for, for speaking. But what would be your top tips for making that leap of faith and thinking, you know, you've gone from working with other people and you know, doing very well for yourself to thinking, right, I'm going to take this huge risk and I'm going to then start out my own business. And obviously that was really hard. What would be your top tips for anybody wanting to do that and to sort of like let them know what is going to be the pros and what are the cons? Okay, so two key, two key things. Hard work is key. And then one more thing is you have to put your heart into it. Yeah. And when you're spreading that energy of positivity, of how you want passion, passion how you want to put that quality into your service, the customer will know it. Yeah. And they will come back. Yeah. They will you have to trust to you. they're going to come back. Yeah. Exactly. If you have that trust, they will come back to you no matter what. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for being thank you for here having today. Me. Honestly, I feel so grateful for all amazing. of these inspirational ladies around me. And the fact that I get to introduce you to my amazing subscribers, honestly, is such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, Queen! Uh, Monica, what are you going to be doing for your, for well, your I shots? I take my clothes off for my shots. <laughs> you know, International Women's Day. To take Free the nip! Yeah. Your birthday suit. <laughs> so, we have just finished and there is no rest for the wicked. We are literally straight in the car and heading straight to Cliveden for the next event. But we've actually got five minutes, ladies. It went so well. I'm so pleased. I think everybody else had such a lovely time. The sun is shining. Everybody brought their, oh, hi. <laughs> it's John. It's John. <laughs> driving past. Hi, bye, John. Um, and yeah, I just think everybody had the best time. Everybody brought the A game. Everybody was wearing their like most empowered self. We got to chat to a few of the guests. I wish I got a few more, but um, sadly, everybody was just having such a great time. But you heard two seriously inspirational stories as to building a business. And uh, yeah, I just I feel so honored to be able to even host breakfasts like that. So we are actually.
actually going to be heading to Cliveden, which I have told you already, but I will actually be sadly ending this vlog here. So you're going to have to wait until the next vlog to see the next bit of the day, which of course we are celebrating International Women's Day. We're going to be heading to Cliveden. We are going to be meeting Vivian Sheriff herself. I'm going to be speaking to her, seeing the new collection, wearing it, modeling it, shooting it in the breathtaking venue that is Cliveden House. It is a seriously historic building. It's in an area of outstanding natural beauty and it's absolutely breathtaking. But as I said, I'm going to be leaving this vlog here. So I have no idea how this, how long this vlog is at this point, but it has been absolutely incredible. The brands involved, Flowered, Joe Loves, Holland Cooper, all of the incredible brands that gifted for the hampers, my team. It's been a dream day. So I truly hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as we've adored every single second of creating this experience. So as always, sending you so much love and most importantly, happy International Women's Day.